Hello, um, here is my video on the O2 Luxury Hotel. Um, I'm currently staying in here for quarantine. Uh, this was the cheapest option that I could find at 38,000 baht, so just around 12 to 1500 dollars, uh, US dollars. So this is the hotel, what it looks like, some pros and cons. Uh, I hope it's helpful for you, and here goes. So as soon as you walk into the hotel, there are a pair of slippers. Unfortunately, my feet are huge. I don't, they don't fit in these. So um, if slippers are something you actually want to wear, I'd recommend bringing your own if you're anything over like a size six, cause I'm a, like a size 10. There's no way those are fitting on my feet. Um, so anyways, you walk in, there are two beds. Excuse the suitcase overflowing. I have way too much stuff, so I wasn't quite sure where I put everything. Um, this bed is not made up. It has a sheet on it, but it doesn't have any uh, blankets, but this one is. Um, they actually only gave me one pillow the first night, but there was a pillow up there. So I grabbed it and wrapped a towel around it. And then when the cleaning people came five days later for the first time, after my, my COVID test came back negative, they um, allowed me, or they changed the pillowcase and put a pillow on it, or a case on it, and I was allowed to keep the second pillow. Um, it has a little table, excuse all of my stuff. It has, you know, the TV remote, um, light switches, and phone. Smoking is not allowed in this room, but it is allowed in some other rooms, and I can sometimes smell it, but I'm very... Um, aware of cigarette smells, so it may not be an issue for you. But anyways, as you walk in, the first thing on your right is your counter. Um, on your first day, they will have 18 huge bottles of water. Um, I'm almost, I'm on my 10th or 11th day, and I haven't even started the last pack, but I also don't drink enough water, so that could be the problem. Um, they also have a pretty large TV on the wall. Um, I haven't used it, no idea what's on it, but it's there if you have like a fire stick. I know a friend of mine has put her fire stick in the, her hotel room and she's been able to watch it. Um, they have a kettle, which is awesome. Um, they have two teacups and two glasses here. Um, these are actually silverware from my meals so that they don't just leave that in here. Um, they also have some nice hand gel, which was sweet of them, and a flashlight for, I guess, if you lose something on their bed or something, I don't know. But it's there. Uh, and then they also provide you with a thermometer that you have to take twice a day. Um, also, the hotel has these little cards. So your first COVID test will come back on day seven and you'll get your form that says you are COVID negative and they will give you a yellow card. Then on your 11th day, I believe, they do another test, or maybe it's your 10th day, whatever it is, they give you another test and if it is negative, they give you a green card. And essentially this just allows you into different areas of the hotel. This means that I get a bigger fitness center and that I can go to the rooftop. I haven't been there. I can't give you any kind of idea about what that looks like. But if that's something that means something to you, there it is. There's an option. Um, this is my little desk and my um, where I eat. It's tiny. It's enough for one person, but it's comfortable and it's, I don't know. It's nice. It's cozy. The chair is comfortable. Then you have your little suitcase section. I put my shoes in there. Then you have this. They come with extra hand towels um, and a blow dryer. Those are my bags. And then also laundry service if you're interested. The laundry service is really expensive and not really worth it. Um, for a pair of slacks, it's 65 baht. And that's like... You're essentially paying a dollar fifty two dollars per piece of clothing so I just I really wouldn't go that route it's much cheaper elsewhere 
Um, they have some hangers if you want to use the hangers. They have two pairs of casual clothing. And what these are are just like, I don't wear these. I actually wear my pajamas because these aren't terribly comfortable for me. But they're a little pair of like, I don't know. They, they if you know what the hosp like hospital scrubs, cotton kind of feels like. That's what they. That's what they feel like. They're not. I don't know. I don't wear them because they're not very comfortable. But if that's an option for you, that's fine. Um, then you have the bathroom. So you walk in. You have your sink. They have. Um, they actually have two glasses, but one of my glasses is out there because I actually use my glasses to paint. Um, they come with shampoo, conditioner, some hand soap. Um, they came with a toothbrush. I don't use it. And like cotton buds and some other things. It does come with a little tiny vial of toothpaste, but you should bring your own because it's not enough. Then you have all of your towels. I've used these towels, so. And then your shower. Um, yeah. So that's that. And then lastly, have your balcony. So it's, this is my balcony. It goes in here. And there's a little chair out there and you can kind of see outside. But it looks, you know, the typical balcony. This isn't central Bangkok, it's um, I believe it's actually Smut Prakam. So it is outside of Bangkok, it's not the actual like inner city, center city Bangkok. So it's not nearly as loud as it would be if you were just standing in Bangkok. So it's pretty nice. I guess now just like pros and cons, um, the pros it's really affordable here. It's 38,000 baht, so it costs, you know, 12 to 1500 US dollars. I don't know that exact number, but it's it's cheap. Um, for two weeks. The food is okay. Um, it's all Thai food. There's very little Western food, so if that's something that is important to you, there's very minimal Western food, and it's definitely more of a Western fusion kind of food. So if you want Western food, um, they don't have much, but their Thai food's good. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, it's affordable. The beds are really comfortable. Uh, they're, they're kind of a medium softness. They're not soft, they're not hard. So they're really nice. Um, the staff here is really nice. They're really accommodating and they keep in touch with you regularly. They're really awesome. Um, you get to go to the fitness center later as you get uh, on a fifth day when you get COVID negative. It is outside the, the fitness center, so it's hot. So if you go, go at night. Um, having said that, if you have some mosquito repellent, maybe bring it um, because it gets pretty buggy out there. Um, also, this is Smoot Prakan instead of Bangkok, I believe, or if not, it's really close to the border, so it's not central city, and that means it's not nearly as noisy over here, which is a nice touch when you're trying to sleep and trying to switch your, switch your schedules during quarantine. Um, as far as cons, these are just tiny things that really wouldn't make any difference to me, but for full disclosure. Um, I think the biggest one is probably the difficulty in controlling the shower heat. Um, there's apparently, from what I've read, like a little like a little nozzle or a, a knob on the balcony that you can control the temperature. But it wasn't worth it to me to fix or to change it, so I never actually did it. So I don't know how hard it is. But when you're actually taking a shower, you cannot control the temperature in the shower. So I've had a couple of showers that were not hot. It's never cold, but it's mostly like room temperature, maybe a little bit warmer than room temperature. So you can't really control it very well. Um, 
but again, this was never really something that I cared about. So um, if it's something that you care about, you can always ask them how that works. As far as booking goes, um, the O2 Luxury Hotel was extremely easy. I sent them my credit card information, which I was a little scared to do, but it turned out fine. And I just kept an eye on my account for a little while. Um, I sent them my credit card information they ran it through, they booked it, they sent me a receipt and booking, and then I um, went ahead and sent all my stuff to the embassy. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I unfortunately lost my passport and all that stuff in the mail, so I had to change my booking at the hotel and at one point I actually didn't have any dates in mind because I didn't know when the flights were. So they just held my spot and when I finally booked my date, I changed the date. They had availability and I came um, that, that, you know, that week. So they're really flexible. Their cancellation policy is amazing. I believe as long as you cancel within 72 hours, you get like 100% of your booking back. And if it's within 24 hours, you get 75%. So they're really good about that. Um, so if this is an option that you are considering, I do recommend it. It has probably been the easiest possible experience I could have with quarantine. Um, I don't really have any complaints at all. So O2 Luxury Hotel, I hope this is helpful for you. I know it's a lot of information as far as figuring out what hotels work and what's the booking policy and the refund policy if things happen. Um, I hope this sheds some clarity on at least O2 Luxury Hotels policy and um, good luck and safe travels when you do start making your way towards Thailand. I hope this was helpful. Um, I will be going to get a SIM card when I get out of quarantine because I couldn't get one when I was in the airport. If that's something you're concerned about or worried about, I'll be trying to make a video of that. So I hope maybe you'll check back on my channel if that's something you want to look at. Good luck everyone, you can do it. If you are interested in any more chan uh, videos that I might put on my channel, please feel free to subscribe and I hope you have safe travels. Bye bye!